Bismillah, salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah. In today's lesson, I would like to show you how we can convert any type of CNC design from an image file to an AutoCAD file. As we know, where we can convert any type of CNC file, uh, maybe this one or this one or any type of CNC file, we can convert it to uh, AutoCAD file. We can use uh, net from the internet sites, we can convert it or we can convert it in our uh, just uh, by using our PC by using uh, Photoshop pr uh, program. Okay, so let's uh, let's let us try this this one, uh, this uh, CNC design or any type of the design it doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't matter. Let me let me uh, convert this one. Okay, just I'm um, open open here uh, open Photoshop, any version of Photoshop you have, open and uh, we can select our design as we said let's say try this one uh, we can uh, try uh, this picture okay first of all uh, you can open it here from layer and after that go to select and select uh, with color range uh, and click here okay so i want to just i want to uh, select uh, black color after that i can go to paths as you see now uh, i have a selection so go to paths here if you don't have paths here you can uh, bring it from window as you see you can go to paths okay so from here you can you can choose choose paths so uh, from paths after that uh, i have a selection so create paths with a selection okay that's very good by selecting paths and after that file from file export 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 paths to isolator okay and i want to uh, convert work path okay uh, let's say youtube tutorial name it you can name it save and after that you can save this one after that I want to I want to bring this one this CNC uh, file or this design to uh, 3d max program okay I just open 3d max and from uh, here from this logo and you can import it and import uh, your CNC okay as we said we converted to uh, YouTube tutorial this one so open this one uh, we want to merge object with this current scene uh, the difference between these two if we have an uh, open project it will uh, the first one it, it will just import import the the file okay and the second one it will totally replace uh, the current scene so uh, it doesn't matter for for now let's say merge objects with current scene so okay after that do you want to become one uh, object or multiple objects i want to be uh, one object because if we are going to uh, use in 3d max it's better uh, with uh, one single object so we can extrude it uh, easily so okay as you see now i have this design that's very cool design okay after that you can just select it uh, from here and export export selected uh, to let's name it YouTube tutorial okay and just save this file and I want to uh, save it with uh, another cat uh, 2013 and uh, only selected objectives and you can add that go to okay after that go to AutoCAD and open this file in AutoCAD file as you see like this now we have our CNC uh, program uh, CNC, sorry, CNC design in an uh, DWG file it's very easy 
Okay. It it's not only only black. Uh, it's not uh, useful for only bl black and white uh, pictures. Okay. You can just select any type of pictures that you have. It depends on what uh, the the quality of our drawing. The quality of our drawing depends on the uh, the quality of the picture. Okay. If we have a high resolution uh, picture, we will get a high uh, resolution, uh, high quality DWG file. But sometimes, sometimes we have some problem. As you see, now it's we don't have uh, for this uh, this one. Let's say we don't have uh, we don't have a, a good quality for uh, the picture. Okay, what we can do from here from layers as we said uh, before uh, select select color range click uh, color here and okay as you see now we see uh, white and if we you see you see here some some places black and some places white okay it's good but I want to further further my my uh, these edges so as to get uh, more accurate uh, drawing so from the select and we can select and mask we can further as you see if you look this area this black area and we can smooth as you see the smoothness we can smooth, uh, smooth it and from further and contrast we can play around with, uh, until we get a good edges as you see like this shift edge let's say like this and okay after that we select our design right after that what I have to do I can I want to go, uh, go to here from this brush tool and I want to brush with black just let me a little uh, make bigger this one or just by right uh, make bigger, bigger from here you can size it up and just brush to get more accurate file okay I'm using keyboard shortcuts okay that's very good <coughs> again go to paths selection from path okay file uh, export export to path to is later okay you can use the tutorial this is zero one so it's not to be replaced by that one okay save again from 3d max import is your tutorial zero one merge only object okay A single object yes okay name it as you see the difference between these two we said that we want only this one and after I select this one go to export it to tutorial zero one and save okay file open YouTube tutorial zero one. This is the first one, and this is the second one. Okay. As you see here, we have this. If we want to compare these two, we can just uh, by converting this one to a block so as to be one uh, one object and after that select this one 
move it to the top of this one as you see the quality of the blue one is better than the quality of the purple one we have some sharp edges here which is the uh, which is better now we solved some some problems here we have sharp edges like this and we have this arc like this and here okay so this is the the solution for for a uh, low quality uh, images and that's all for today thank you very much don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, like and share this uh, video